Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial video on how to use auto swap. By the end of this video, you should be well versed in using Autonomy Network's tool to place trades, limit orders and stop losses on decentralized exchanges. The first question you might ask is, what is Autonomy Network? Well, it's a protocol where you can automate future smart contract transactions that will execute if certain conditions are met. This opens up interesting possibilities for developers to build new DeFi tools. Automated smart contracts transactions can be used for things like sending recurring payments, avoiding a liquidation fee by automatically liquidating yourself, optimizing yields by moving funds to a better farm as rates change. Now, what is Autoswap? Autoswap is Autonomy Network's custom trading platform launched on most EVM compatible chains like Ethereum, BSC, Avalanche or Polygon. Orders are routed to DEXs like PancakeSwap, ApeSwap or Trader Joe, etc. What's interesting about it is that, thanks to Autonomy's automation capabilities, it lets you set limit orders and stop losses in a DEX environment. Usually, you'd have to go to a centralized exchange like Binance to use these features. Let's take a look at how to use Autoswap. First, to use the platform, you must connect your Web3 wallet by pressing the Connect Wallet button. And follow the steps for approving the connection on your chosen wallet. This will vary depending on which wallet you're using, of course. I'm going to use Metamask today. And once you've connected your wallet, you'll be able to see that here. You can select most major EVM compatible chains, but for this example, we're going to stick with BSC. Next, on the button to the left of the Connect Wallet option, you can choose to route your order to ApeSwap or PancakeSwap. The first option, Swap, allows you to trade as you usually would on any regular DEX. It's exactly like swapping on Uniswap. Once you click Swap, it'll open up your MetaMask wallet or chosen wallet where you can confirm the transaction. Transaction submitted. And if you haven't already got the chosen token in your MetaMask, it'll even help you get it set up. You will also notice that once a transaction has been placed, you can see it pending up in the top right hand corner. And you can also navigate to the recent transactions to confirm your transaction that is underway. And there we go. So that's how you use the swap function. Next, let's take a look at limit order. Now for the second option, limit orders allow you to buy a token at a specific price. Your order will not execute unless the condition for the price is met. To set a limit order, choose from a drop down list of the tokens you are able to trade from. Under rate, you can specify at what rate you want to buy specific tokens. It is important to note that it isn't the price that's used, but the rate. The rate is the amount of output token divided by input token. By clicking this here, you can change the opposite denomination. And on the very bottom, you'll see three different order statuses, open, cancelled, and executed. This will display your order status, and every time you connect to your wallet, the status should be updated. For example, let's pick a desired token pair. In this case, we'll go with BNB and USDC. Set the rate at which you want to buy specific tokens. The desired output should be above the current market output for limit orders. It's also important to note that the amount on the bottom panel is the amount of tokens you will receive when the limit executes. Click on Place Order and approve the transaction. You can see your limit order status by clicking on the Open tab. Once the conditions are met, and then if we head over to Executed now, you will see that my limit order has been executed successfully. Finally, let's take a look at stop losses. This feature is meant to sell your token at a certain price. Just like limit orders, your order will not execute unless the price condition is met. The steps are the same as limit orders that we just went through right before. Just keep in mind that you are completing a sell order. So let's pick a desired token pair. Let's do BNB and USDC again. So we're going to set the rate at which you want to sell these tokens. And just for example, we're going to set the rate only a little bit lower. And then we're going to click on the stop loss button to start the transaction. And then we will also confirm stop loss here. Of course, the desired output should be below the current market output for stop losses. And once the conditions you set are met, the order will execute again. 
And of course, you can see the stop loss status by clicking on the open button, and once it executes, we'll find it here. It's important to note that when placing a limit order or stop loss, there is a very small extra cost on top of the gas fee to incentivize the autonomy executors. There are two options to cover the fee. If you click on the gear icon, you'll be able to see that prepay execution is turned off by default. This means that you don't pay anything up front. Once the order is executed, then the fee will be taken out from the trade at the time of the execution. However, if that button is set turned on, then you will prepay for the execution of the trade the moment you set a limit or stop order. Make sure to check out our website and join our Discord community for any questions and to stay up to date with Autonomy Network. This wraps up our auto swap tutorial. Now you know how to take advantage of limit orders and stop losses in a DEX. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more on what you can do with Autonomy.